Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, new hero pool came out, I believe, yesterday. Um, we pretty much knew what we were getting, or at least some of it. We're getting a hero return pool, hummingbird priority. Um, so let's check out the other heroes. I already know what's, what's in it, um, but we'll have a little bit of suspense. So we have hummingbird, juggernaut, and captain Ivanov. Um, and then these legendary heroes don't mean anything. The purple and blue heroes are also completely irrelevant. It, it it doesn't matter at all. The The only exception is having Foreman is kind of nice, uh, but that's about it. Anyway, the thing about Hero Return is that it's always going to be heroes that are below the current season. So in this case, um, everybody who's getting this pool is at least uh, on Season X, at least on their first iteration of Season X, um, if not more. So Seasons 1 through 4 will appear in the Hero Return pool. Um, this pool pretty damn good right off the bat um I'll, I'll say that but it is a little bit hard um to kind of you know know should i spend all my tickets on this pool or not uh so hopefully um you know you can take some some of my advice and apply it to your own situation and and, and see where you have to go from there so first first hero most important hero hummingbird um, I talked about her in a very recent video, the season four tier list video, uh, but Hummingbird is definitely an S tier hero priority for sure. Priority hero, four out of four, whatever, whatever scale that I, I like to say, um, Hummingbird is needed on pretty much every single base. Um, and if you have Hummingbird, you use her for, for literally everybody. Um, there, there's really not a situation where you wouldn't be using Hummingbird. She is one of the best damage dealers in the game um, especially in terms of skill damage and just pure output if if the situation goes her way um, so i will i will talk about that in a second but essentially she just does a shit ton of damage um, she's uh, the complete opposite of a tank really she should have zero zero out of five um, not even one uh, she literally takes more damage she's the only hero to actually take more damage um, but other than that, she has a little bit of CC um, from her fifth ability. Uh, it's CC and debuffs, but but they're they're it's kind of similar. Um, and then again, just literally the devs know massive damage. Um, so yeah, like I said, Hummingbird definitely a priority hero, definitely an S tier, five out of four. Get her. Um, she's worth it to spend to spend your resources on. However, there's a catch. You can get Hummingbird pretty much guaranteed from Doomsday. So from Doomsday Coins, you can get vouchers, or from Doomsday Rewards, uh, you can unlock Hummingbird. Guaranteed, uh, more or less. Um, so you do have to take in consideration, do I need Hummingbird right now, or can I wait a season or two um, and then and then have her maxed instead of spending all, all of your tickets on her? Um, tickets are, are a commodity that you will pretty much always need um and you can't so far right now you cannot guarantee a hero from doomsday rewards or from doomsday coins um it, it doesn't exist there's no season x voucher yet so let's move on from hummingbird like i said she's a fantastic hero getter but it, again it does depend and the the main thing that it depends on is do you need to be you know significantly stronger right now or will hummingbird make you significantly stronger if you already have two or two or three you know good apcs that are you're you're doing well um with them and, and you're finding that nobody can like break your base for example in one hit um or you're not the main like damage dealer you're not, you're not the main carry um in your alliance then you probably don't need hummingbird immediately right you can probably wait a, a season your your alliance will still perform very well um, top 10, top five, top one, um, even without you having bird. But if you are someone in your Alliance, uh, you know, you guys don't have enough strong bases, you have tickets, you really need hummingbird to set you over the top. Uh, you know, you have tech priestess, you have canon S gluttony, um, wrath, uh, whoever it may be. Um, and you need hummingbird, uh, it becomes a little bit harder. So anyway, let's move on to Juggernaut. So Juggernaut's pretty bad. Uh, this one is not a tough decision. Uh, do not invest anything into Juggernaut. There's no point. Um, he, he's not a very good hero. And you really won't see him used in, in Season X. Um, 
unless they literally have no other other front line or it's like a fifth apc or fourth or fifth apc or something like that so juggernaut um as his, as his chart indicates he's supposed to be a tank but he doesn't really excel um at that he really just has this plus 15 hp uh which makes him stronger but um that's about it he has this recover but it's arguably the worst troop recover in the game um it, it just recovers the least amount of troops um so he's honestly in terms of his tanking abilities uh pretty lacking uh pretty lackluster but that's that's the position he's supposed to be in. he counter attacks um just in general i would say i would say ignore juggernaut um yeah so let's move on to the other kind of main hero in this pool or the other exciting hero in this pool captain ivanov um so captain ivanov is a season two uh vehicle hero Captain Ivanov is also a priority one hero. Um, there are two reasons for that. One, he is very good in base to base combat. He's not the best. You know, Death Rider is better, uh, pretty much all around. Uh, Kamikaze is probably just better all around. Um, but Captain Ivanov is very, very good still. Um, he's even in maxed, you know, ultra maxed bases. Um, he's still used often, oftentimes in a second APC um, in literally base to base combat additionally he's one of the best heroes in terms of tiling and in terms of forcing higher level tiles um, and minimizing your uh, costs so he's probably the best damage dealer in terms of tiles tile taking uh, very early on just based on how 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 ivanov works um so he's very worth it to get for doomsday as well uh, so he becomes even more of a priority, right? Like I said, he's not the best vehicle hero in the game. Um, but considering that he's very, very good in, in, in combat and in Doomsday, he, he becomes a uh, very, very top priority. Similarly, though, to, to Bird, you can guarantee to get Ivanov. Guaranteed. Um, through Doomsday rewards or, 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 or Doomsday coins. Through, through season vouchers. Now, it is expensive. It is expensive to get those vouchers, but it's it's actually more cost effective to use those vouchers than it, generally speaking, than it is to use your tickets uh, for for somebody like Ivan. Depending on the pool, so Ivan, uh, just to talk about him a little bit, he he's he's very reliant on basic attacks. I think everybody knows that Anna, um, you know, Tracker, uh, those type of heroes will make Ivanov do significantly more but he doesn't need to be paired with them he still does a lot he he has very good cc very good damage um and he doesn't need to be paired with them he, he just is better when he is paired with them um with that said Ivanov is a little bit different from nomad uh they they work pretty similar uh you know they need kind of similar heroes along with them um, but Ivanov works differently so Ivanov most of his his damage most of his kills come from skill kills Whereas most of Nomads comes from uh, basic attack damage. So I'll, I'll show you in a battle report, hopefully, yes. So as you can see here, this is Captain Ivanov. His skill kills is 251,000. Um, his units defeated, which is the basic attack kills, is only 56,000. Nomads, it would be pretty much, you know, this number would be here. Um, so it's just, it's just an interesting thing to note. Um, it, it pretty much just means tactical might is more important on Ivanov. Um, it, it, it's not really going to affect you. I just thought it was a little bit interesting to uh, to note. Um, so you know, with that said, um, overall, the overall strength of the pool um, is very good. Uh, yeah, it, it's very good. Bird and Ivan are both like 4 out of 4, 5 out of 4. Uh, heroes and then juggernaut's really like a probably a one out of four to be honest um but 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 regardless it's it still makes this pool very very good there is one thing to consider though the next time that you will be using your super tickets or, or whatever your golden tickets um will probably be for the new season x heroes so if you need those new season x heroes um you probably can't pull right now on this hero return or you can't use all of your tickets you can use a few but you can't use all of them um speaking of how many tickets you'll, you'll probably need general guidance um says it's about 80 75 75 tickets to get one of these kind of the season heroes um 
that's that's pretty average. You can get better or worse results uh, for your money, but um, yeah, that's that's pretty much average. Um, overall, generally, you would say to max a hero from zero, it would take like 250 to, to 350 tickets. Um, oftentimes, we just go with 250 as a, as a pretty good, good marker. Um, so for three heroes, to max it out, it would be you would need 750 tickets, right? If all of these heroes were at zero. If you have most of the copies of these heroes and you just need like one more copy of Hummingbird, um, again, you can kind of expect to get her at around the 200 to 300 uh, ticket mark. Um, so if you need one copy of Bird and one copy of Ivan, I would say that this is a good pool to go for. Um, you're probably, again, going to spend 250 tickets, maybe 200, maybe less, maybe more. Um, and, and probably max both of them out. So if you do for, go for this pool, just know that again, you, you probably won't, you, you won't get the new, new heroes. You, you won't max them at least unless you have like 5,000 tickets or, you know, tons of tickets just waiting for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you guys do go for this pool, let me know, let me know who you get. Um, I already know some people have gotten very, very lucky with this pool, uh, you know, three Ivans and 200 tickets, uh, Hummingbird and 10 tickets. Um, but also people have gotten quite unlucky. So 300 tickets and zero birds. Um, it's not going to be uncommon. So take it how you will. Personally, my my personal opinion, if I had zero copies of these heroes right here, um, I would probably spend about 200 or maybe 100. Maybe get one copy of Bird, one copy of Ivan, call it a day. Um, and then and then max out those heroes, or at least get uh, seven out of eight skills on those heroes uh, with Doomsday coins uh, or with the Doomsday rewards, the vouchers. Um, that that's probably what I would do. Um, and then just save the rest. I have about eleven hundred tickets right now, so yeah, take it as you will. For the new heroes, you'll probably need about a thousand for each uh, new hero, seven fifty to twelve fifty, um, but really realistically uh, about a thousand so depends where you are where you are in the game um and 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 how how much how badly you want you want these new heroes or or see the next heroes in particular i would say hummingbird matches up very very well though she's you could just consider a, a good season x hero like literally she's just a cheaper season x hero it's cheaper to get uh, so even better but that's about it for me guys um yeah again let me know let me know what you get or don't get um, if you get unlucky. But I hope you guys all get lucky. I uh, hope you guys are having fun. Uh, I know it's kind of a boring transition period for most people. Um, a lot of alliances right now are kind of losing interest or, or players are losing interest. Some alliances have activities uh, for, for people to do during off seasons like, uh, you know, tournaments, round robin tournaments or other games among us or call of duty or, or whatever that they play with their their alliance um we recently did a a giveaway uh so you know some some alliances do giveaways um if you guys are doing anything please just let me know in the comments um you know let, let me know what you guys are doing uh and, and the community can can you know take your ideas um and implement them or something like that i think it's pretty important for at during these periods for r4s and and leadership to to you know spice spice things up because uh, it does get pretty boring a lot of people qu end up quitting um anyway i don't know why i just rambled on for for the last like four minutes but uh i'll leave while i can uh thank you guys so much for watching hope it helps you out i know people are gonna have you know questions should i go for this pool should i not uh i would i would definitely take some time to think about it don't just rush immediately into into pulling all these tickets um at least take a little bit of time and then you know watch the video and then and then help uh help make up your mind so take care guys hope you guys are staying safe hope you're staying healthy uh it's thanksgiving very soon um in america so i might not be i'll, I'll probably not be posting uh during the thanksgiving week i'll be on vacation um but hey happy thanksgiving i guess <laughs> anyway guys i'll uh, see you guys next time thanks for watching take care peace